Hey guys, this is gonna be my first uh, Minecraft tutorial. We're gonna do a tutorial for the mod GLSL shaders, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, you're gonna need to go to these websites I have in the description. You're gonna want to download exactly what I'm downloading, downloading right here. You want to go to this one right here, Optifine for 1.4.6, 1 1.4.7, D3. You want to make sure it's D3. You want to hit download right here. I'll just link the description again, like I said. 1.4, 1.4.6, 1 1.47 1 is basically the same thing, so that doesn't matter. It'll bring you to this, you download it, done, throw it on your desktop, save as. And then right here, you're going to want to go, well, this will be in the description to the Optifine thing. It'll probably bring you to the home. Let's go to downloads right here, click that, and it'll bring you down here. This one, you're going to want to go to the where same thing where we got the other thing from, D3. So it's going to be the third one down. And download that right there. So you click that, add, fly, whatever. I already have them downloaded on my desktop. And that'll, get, that'll give you the three things that you need. Here are the three things, the shaders mod, Optifine, and the CS V9 version 9 thing. Actually, here, let me see this. Go back. up here. I am on Windows 8. So this does, this is very compatible with Windows 8 and everything. Actually you're going to need to do one more thing. This is on the same page as the GL cell shaders. I'm going to go down here and it'll say Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. You need to click on this link right here and you're going to want version 9. If you want version 10 that requires texture pack. So it'll bring you to this Mediafire page. Make sure you click the version 9 right here. Zip, and it'll bring you to the download thing for that. Alright, let's get out of here. So then you'll have these three mods right here. First, we're going to need to install Optifine. You want to go down here. I'm using, I'm on Windows 8, so I have to do this. But you want to go to search or run, and then percent app data. You want to go into here, dot Minecraft, into your bin. You're also going to need WinRAR for this, so I'd recommend getting that. It's free, it's a 30 day trial or whatever. Okay, so you want to go to your Minecraft or dot Minecraft, exact same thing. Open with WinRAR, whatever one you want to use. Okay, let's get rid of this. First thing before you do anything in your Minecraft.jar, you're going to delete this meta INF thing. Because that will cause other mods to not load, like Optifine here. Okay. So then we'll open up Optifine with WinRAR also. And it'll bring up these two boxes. This is your Optifine. This is your Minecraft.jar. You need to take, don't select this top one. So say, uh, click that right there, this top one. Hold Shift, go down to the bottom, so it'll select all of them. And just drag that right into your Minecraft. I'm using a fresh Minecraft. I have no other mods, not, no f mod uh, forge, no Minecraft forge, no mod loader, none of that. Just a beginning of Minecraft with nothing else. Now you want to open up Minecraft. Not sure what that is. Okay, the Mojang Shine K. Should look like this. Should go into here. Should be video settings. Should be more. Like details, animation, texture packs. That means you've installed the Optifine correctly. Now you're going to get out of here. Quit game. Make sure you hit quit game. Glitch is going to happen. You're going to keep your Minecraft.jar open. Put Optifine up here. Now you're going to open your shaders mod. Open that up with Optifine also. You click the shaders thing. Little folder. Select all of those. Drag it in your Minecraft.jar. So now, we're going to go in here to Minecraft again. Open that up. Wait for it. And then we should go in here, and there should be a language and shaders right there. Open up shaders, boom. So this is where the Seuss texture thing, whatever the heck that is, comes in. So you want to open up your folder right here, drag this up to the side. So if, if we go in here to our, let's just create a world quick. I already have one in here. See, there's nothing, it's just normal whatever you can change and you can go to escape there's a bunch of other settings in here you can 
clearly choose your FPS, your render distance, and you can go like extreme and stuff, serious lag. Okay, so let's go here again, get done with that. Get out of here. If we, if we go to options, shaders, see there's nothing in here right now. So then I'll show you how to get to the solder right here, shader packs. Go back into your percent app data. Open that up. Go to your dot Minecraft. Now it should be a shader pack texture folder. That was not here before. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Let's get rid of Minecraft. So it'll open up your shaders pack folder. There should be nothing in there. You just take this right here, this zipped folder. It'll work. And then toss it into that shader pack folder. Now open up Minecraft again. And that should be in here. Click that. Click done. I wouldn't do this block breaking feature. I don't really like it. It like makes it white. I should select done, open up your world, and you'll see the difference dramatically as soon as it loads. And here we go. You have GS GLSL shaders installed. As you can see, it creates some amazing shadows. The clouds cast shadows down. Even if you go into water, it just looks so much better. Your water it's a little little glitchy because I am recording right now the particles are better and your guy does actually cast a shadow if you notice it wasn't on original minecraft it's so there the grass does move you guys haven't seen that before mm -hmm. it's there and moves so yeah that's unbelievable shit tutorial like and subscribe guys, this is my first video, I'm going to have another video up shortly here, for about 10 minutes, it'll be about Forge Mod Loader, so I'll be doing mod, mod installs, all the mods that you guys want, whatever, I'm going to eventually get about 20 mods loaded in here, some things like the Iron Man mod, and not enough items, and all that junk, so I'll have the things, the links in the description for all these mods, and now... Thanks for watching.